actually something a bit more fun because Halloween is around the corner and I've got some other videos also planned but because Halloween is around the corner and I thought that I have to just address that somehow Halloween and makeup you know so I came up with an idea for three looks and basically I was thinking that so I think it's a weekday I think so so I guess a lot of people will be working anyway I had an idea that since people will probably be busy during the day and some people don't have time to actually sit in front of the mirror for two hours and get ready for a Halloween party that they might be in for two hours so I had an idea to make looks that you can transform from a daytime wear to the actual Halloween look just a big small thing I don't have any outfits. I'm just doing the makeup. Don't judge me on the outfit bases. In fact, I am wearing a very big jumper because I am not doing anything today. It's so cold in our house because they haven't put the heating on yet. Let me be comfy. <laughs> Uh, basically this first look that I'm doing is a kind of like 50s pop art inspired kind of thing You know like those things where you draw on your face like these You make it just look kind of like cartoony in a way This first one is like super easy to make And that's kind of also why I chose it as the first one Because you know, I haven't done any Halloween makeup so I also need some practice all you kind of need for this is a like a liner. I have the one from NYX, that's the point, hella fine. This is one of the new ones and they came out with like, I think it's seven with different ends and it's so cool. Like I really want the one with the dotted end for eye looks. I think that's gonna be really awesome. And then you need a NYX eyebrow marker for, I have the one in medium. To do, you know, those like the dots in the face to make it look uh, cartoonish. I'll talk you to, through the other stuff, but those two are, I think, the most important ones. And yeah, let's get started. So I also have to kind of cheat now. Uh, let me actually get my computer in front of me because I have all my pictures there. This look is basically the look I create kind of everyday basis, plus I did the liner and the lips. So first I am going to fill in my eyebrows uh, fully and I'm very scared of how this is going to end up, but we'll see. that if I do it like this then the bottom part is gonna like touch where I don't want it to touch then I'm gonna have like block well I already am gonna have blocks on my eyebrows but <laughs> pictures some of them have like really really like block eyebrows but I don't really want to do that because it's just not me oh it's it's getting really stiff oh. uh, so I'm just going to do a few like really cartoonish lines and just kind of fade it out or try to fade it out <laughs> Okay, that does not look nice. That looks so, so gimmicky. I think I'm just going to do the whole eyebrow as a block. Let's just go with that. Okay, I think we're gonna go with that. I look so stupid right now. Next up, I'm doing the nose. I walk the floor.
hard. I was not expecting this to be so hard. take some blush from H&M and I'm going to take that with a 6 plus brush and the shade is called Dazzling Peach. <laughs> So that would be everything done in terms of like the lines and stuff. I'm not really happy with these two here, uh, if I'm completely honest. I probably would have liked to just leave them out. Just leave them out if you do this yourself. Oh, actually, I some more outlines because I thought that it was missing just a little bit of something. Okay, let's try with a lip pencil to do the dots that you can usually see in the 50s posters. retractable lip liner in the shade natural. I only have that much left. No, I don't know if I can finish my whole face. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. <laughs>
or does my forehead look like a mess? <laughs> I really like this area here, like it's so nice, but then here it just kind of goes like, oh well. Oh, and by the way, the product I'm using is this guy from the Morphe 25B palette. <laughs> dots done it actually took a bit longer than I expected it to take oh and on my lips by the way I have the NYX lip liner in pink you rose 835 and on top of that I have a Marie Dolgar uh, Tita lip mist in P6 looks like this they're really cute like mini mini ones. I got a set uh, when I went to a fashion show. So last step is the lashes and I'm gonna do that off camera and I will be back right away. I'm going to use the matte finish long lasting setting spray from NYX Cosmetics and I'm just gonna spray that all over my face. So that would be the finished look. Uh, in the end of the day, I think this is going to be the hardest one of the three that I'm going to be making. Next next look is going to probably be the vampire look. These lashes are from NYX. I do not remember what the name was, but they're one of the Be Wicked uh, series. And these ones are actually quite stiff and I do not like them that much, so just to like a to let you know thing and yep I will be back next Thursday or sooner with another one of these Halloween looks I think I will post before next Thursday because I have a lot of time and I want to get these Halloween looks done and then I have some other videos uh, already planned and hopefully I will post as much as two next week uh, I will try and get all these Halloween looks done by next week. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe down below. I'll link my last video of all my favorite products down below and that's also how kind of I did the base for this look. So you can go and check that out. And yep, I'll see you next time. Bye!